What's up guys, War History Geek here, and welcome back to another acquisitions video. Today I browsed around some local garage sales, and I found some pretty good stuff actually. Um, none of it's military, however I will mention that, um, just a tip for anyone that's garage sailing, when you're looking for a particular thing, just ask the person hosting the garage sale. The worst they can say is, no, I don't have it. Um... I've asked around, usually, like, I do coins and currency, uh, vintage toys, and then also military stuff. So, I asked around, and, um, the one lady actually said that she does have a large collection of, um, like, Nazi memorabilia that was brought home by her father from World War II. And she hasn't found anybody to be interested in buying them. So, I will actually be the first person being able to take a look at this collection, um, so I will give an update on that. But um, let's just get into what I got today. So starting with something small, as a reminder, none of this is military stuff. So if this doesn't interest you, feel free to move on to the next one. But uh, here's some nice collectibles. So first we start off with this antique scale. Um, I picked it up for three bucks. Thought that was a really good deal. Uh, it's the Lander's Improved Balance. And uh, just with a little bit of research... Found out that this is from about the 1890s. Uh, so very nice there. Just a nice little uh, display piece to put somewhere around the house. Um, and for three bucks, you can't beat that. So just a nice little piece there. And then the rest of these are all cameras. So moving into the cameras here. Let me zoom out a bit. Uh, we're going to start with the oldest one. First up, we have... Actually, here, this is not the oldest one. This is the oldest one. So, starting out with this camera here, we have the number 2A folding autographic brownie. And these are from, this is from the early 1920s. So, um, I believe it's from 1918 to 1926-ish, if I remember correctly. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're really curious, you can look that up on your own. Um, but just a very nice camera. I like the look of this a lot. My father and I collect cameras together, so I figured I would pick these up. And each of these I only paid $7 a piece for. I paid $50 for all of them. Um, so very nice collection. With a little bit of research, I saw this one usually goes for about $20 or so. So very nice there. Very... Uh, <laughs> nice uh, collector's piece as long as I don't knock it down uh, so yes moving on to the next one here we have a Kodak from the 1930s so pre-World War II of course right before um, perfect for my reenacting even though I don't do GI um, just about the perfect camera that you could ask for for a smaller collapsible camera from that era to use as a GI reenactor. Uh, this one's actually in the worst condition of them all. Um, as you can see, the finish is peeling off here and there, and it's missing one of the um, nuts there. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely an interesting camera nonetheless. This one I will be including in my military collection. The others will be going with uh, the rest of our cameras. So, uh, just a very nice piece there. Very happy to add that to the collection. Uh, getting a little bit newer here, we have a Kodak, or not a Kodak, sorry, a Polaroid land camera. Um, these were produced from, uh, if I remember correctly, the uh, 1950s, 1951 to 1959. Um, so very nice there. It has a just, like, picturesque 1950s camera with the stainless steel. Uh, you can't obviously see this through the camera, but it's very strongly built with a leather handle. Um, just like the family camera of the 1950s. So very cool there. As you can see, it's all plastic. If you open this up, you have access to uh, all the details right here. It's the Model 80. So, 
Very interesting camera. This is probably one of my favorites just by the look of the camera with the stainless steel on the front. Um, again, I only paid seven bucks a piece, so can't really beat that. Moving on to the next one here. We have the Kodak Taurus II, which if I remember correctly is from the 1960s, as we can see here. It's a folding camera. Um, very nice, just, you know, your average portable camera from the 1960s. Paint has a little bit of wear on it, um, but I really like this fold-out look of these cameras. I mean, you can't beat it. There's nothing else like it. Um, so yeah, just a very cool look there. Again, but just a very nice one to add to the collection, nice and small. Um, moving on from that one, we have this one as well from the 1960s. It's a Kodak. Um, if you open it up here, it's got that felt interior. And then you have the camera itself. It has this uh, residue on it, which I'm going to figure out how to get that off. Um, but it's a very nice camera. It might even be from the 1970s. I'll be honest with you. I didn't really research this one all that much. I figured I would just pick these up real cheap. And then uh, I got home and showing you guys right now. So very nice there. Uh, I believe they're all in functioning condition. If not, again, it's not really a big deal. Excellent deal on them. Uh, so yes, very nice there on that one. Sorry if I'm not speaking much about them. I'm not an expert on cameras to any degree. I really have no knowledge on cameras whatsoever. Or, or really, I'd argue I'm not even really much of a collector of cameras. I just kind of buy them when I see them because I find them uh, particularly fascinating. So uh, yeah, yeah. It's just a small side collection for fun, not necessarily a serious collection, so that's why I'm not speaking much on these cameras. Uh, next we have this one, the Savoy. It's a nice small camera made of plastic. Um, this one was produced from 56 to 65, so just a nice little camera here, and I mean just like the look of this camera, you can picture what it would have been like. Just picture las vegas or uh, a different vacation spot in the 1950s or 60s a woman with her family with large sunglasses the hairdo and uh the man in his suit i mean like you can just picture it so uh i mean you can just tell this is from that era very nice camera um it's a little bit newer than what we usually collect but i just find it very interesting so that's a nice one there. And then lastly, we have this, which everyone should know what this is. This is the Polaroid One Step uh, from the late 70s, early 80s. Um, and I picked this one up. This is like just about as new as it gets. This is actually the newest one we own. Um, but I mean, you can't pass up an original Polaroid land camera from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. Uh, like this rainbow here is famous around the world. So, yeah, um, that's all for this video. It was just a quick one that I figured I'd make right now, uh, show off some of the finds that I made. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, and when you're in that area, hit the subscription button and notification bell. I have plenty of other videos like this coming in the near future, so stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.